Okay, so I've had quite a few different monitors and they're always totally different as far as how you use the actual menu. Now, overall, this is a good monitor. Where this ends up failing is with the saturation and the color settings. If you go past 58, it really starts to distort the image quality. And when I say distort, it almost like, it starts like what, yeah, a lot of you are probably wondering like, why are you playing a SpongeBob game on a monitor like this? The reason I was playing that SpongeBob game is because of the colors inside of that game. It is an actual, it's actually a really good game to test out how like distorted the colors are going to get. That is literally why I ended up choosing that game. So these are my settings right here. For Gamma, I ended up choosing 2.4. The default is 2.2. For picture mode, I just put standard. Um, I don't remember what that was. Color temperature was warm. I set it to cool. That's just my personal preference and what I like. Blue light, hue, and saturation. I didn't change anything other than the saturation. Default is 50. I think the perfect um, area is right around 50. The Spider-Man game that I ended up testing looks incredible. Uh, you can probably go up to about 70 with that game, but the SpongeBob is really where the test starts coming into play with that. Now, picture quality, sharpness, I did bump that up to 50. Don't go past 50 because it will definitely distort the image. Uh, I, gotta try, I gotta get used to how this works here. All right, so you can kind of see how it's like, it's overly sharpening. So you go down to, and it does go up by 10, by the way. So you can, you can kind of see how the noise around the actual like Lamborghini line starts going down. Right there is where it like, it, you can kind of see the noise around it. But if you go down to 40, the noise is gone, but it's a little bit soft. So I feel like 50, you can kind of see it just like went sharper. So I feel like that's really where um, the, the, the good middle ground is. Response time, I don't remember what that was. I set it to high. Noise reduction, actually, I'll, let's see what this looks like. Let's go to high. It didn't do anything with the line. Because uh, I'm, I'm literally, I, I swear I have all this stuff for a reason. Uh, it's because it's just, it's a good test. And this is an 8K photo, by the way. I know it's only a 1440p monitor, but it is an 8K photo, by the way. But anyways, audio sounds pretty good. My arm's getting tired reaching with this one. Um, audio, I mean, you're definitely gonna wanna get a sound bar or a headset. There's not much thump or bass or anything to this, but I mean, it doesn't sound like terrible. You know what I mean? It's definitely something that you would be able to get by with. But overall, man, it's, a, it's certainly a, a good monitor. Sansui is a company that I've used quite a few times. Um, now inputs, it's, I mean, you've probably seen it on Amazon. I don't think you need me to uh, show you what we got going on. However, there are some like cool RGB. If you have like a, like a setup, like, like a desk out here and the monitors on it, you can either whatever walk in and you see RGB on the back or if you're whatever over in this area and you look at it, um, whatever so this again this is a 1440p monitor so do keep in mind that when i say what i'm about to say you just keep that in mind okay now these over here are msi's new 4k 240 hertz oled monitors all right there's a big difference as far as you can like crank the saturation to the max like the full-blown maximum you can crank everything to the full-blown maximum and your quality is not going to be lost. Now, this is literally all my recordings, the gameplay footage. It's all recorded in 4K, so um, only 144 hertz. It's literally the maximum that NVIDIA allows me to record. So <laughs> that's why it's only 144. It's still 444 hertz monitor. Plus, even with a 4090 and then uh, a 14900K, there's no way I'm gonna be playing games at 4K 240 hertz to begin with. Maybe with the 5090 when the 5090 comes out, but for right now, it isn't even possible. So, when it comes down to like what I feel, is this a good monitor? Is it worth it? Is it, is it going to give you a good experience? Overall, dude, absolutely something pretty cool here let me show you just in case i forget and hopefully i don't lose connection it does all right well i'm not my tv's in my way it does do the whole like picture mode 
like where it's, it's vertical, you are able to do that. And like, it's fully like, it's fully adjustable. Like you can also like rotate it that way. And this is really awesome that they have a stand that is that's that allows you to do this. Like you can flip it this way, you can move it this way, you can adjust it backwards, frontwards. I just don't want any of the plugs to come undone while I'm doing this. So yeah, definitely a good monitor.